This is FET118 Algorithms and Programming. So in this video we're going to be looking at linked list. The figure below shows the structure of a singly linked list. In order to insert Tokyo between New York and Istanbul, which of the following is an appropriate operation to be performed? Here null indicates the pointer to the end of the list and the head pointer is 10. Here we have the options for what we will set the pointers to on the previously shown linked list. The pointers for New York and Tokyo are set to 90 and 110 respectively. The pointers for New York and Tokyo are set to 110 and 90 respectively. The pointers for New York and Tokyo are set to 110 and 70 respectively. Or the pointers for New York and Tokyo are set to 110 and 50 respectively. So let's see what we can find to be our answer. So in this question we are going to draw the linked list as follows. 10 points to London, so here 10 points to London, as London is saved in address 10. 50 will then point to New York, as that is where New York is saved, and the 90 will point to Istanbul, as that is where Istanbul is saved. This pattern follows through until 30 points to Berlin, and Berlin has the output of null, i.e. we are at the end of the list here. So now if we put Tokyo between New York and Istanbul, New York's pointer will have to hold Tokyo's address and Tokyo's pointer will have to hold Istanbul's address. Adding these we get the following figure. At the start 10 points to London again and 50 points to New York. However at New York we now have 110 to point towards Tokyo. We then use the pointer 90 to point towards Istanbul's address and then 70 to Singapore as we had on the previous slide. So this means that we have to set New York's pointer to 110 and Tokyo's pointer to 90. As we said on the previous slide, the answer is B. We have to set New York's pointer to 110 and Tokyo's pointer to 90. So in this video, what we've learned is how the pointers on a linked list work and how we can add certain new elements to a singly linked list without disrupting the data flow and how we should change the pointers to match 